everyone, this is your girl Janae Michelle from This Curvy Girl's Life and I am here today with my August favorites and because it was my birthday, hello, I have a few favorites that I've really been enjoying. So I'm going to start off with kind of what's actually in front of me and I'm the Summer Boardwalk Bath and Body Works Candle. So this is like the summer version of their, I believe it's called like praline, pecan praline or I'm sorry. I'm actually kind of new to these candles. I didn't find them until summer, but someone told me there's a fall version and I believe it's like pecan praline or something like that. But when I tell you, when I burn this, it smells like I am baking something wonderful in my house so when people walk in they're always like oh my god it smells so good or even when I open up my door and my neighbors are like you know standing on the porch or whatever it's so funny because they'll even be like oh my god what are you guys cooking in there nothing it's my candle it's my candle making my house smell yummy but I love this candle it's the three wick candle they usually run about $22.50 each I tend to actually stock up when they have their two four by so they usually have two four I believe 24 so you actually end up getting them for $12 each versus the paying $22.50 so I usually stock up when I see that sale because I just love this scent so much oh, it smells so good I actually have one burning on my desk right now so then there is a scent that I picked up in the beginning of the month of August that I've actually fell in love with. So this is the Chanel Chance and this is the green bottle as you guys can see and what I love what I love about this scent is I, I, I love a good I love a scent that is fresh I love kind of that step out of the shower just soap and suds down type scent and this just reminds me of that it's very clean very subtle I, I love it I, it is definitely in my favorites for a reason it smells freaking amazing people freaking amazing so next are actually two lippies that I've actually been loving by ColourPop. Um, I think it's great for fall. I'm so happy fall is coming and I feel like these two colors are definitely fall worthy. So I have a Limbo and LAX. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. LAX is the one that I actually got first and I just love this color. It's very, it's just very pretty, um, deep like kind of a very deep brownish red it's just gorgeous 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 um i love this love this love this on i know love this love this love this gorgeous 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 like am i on something so one of my absolute faves and then limbo now what i love about limbo is this almost is a neutral tone for me it almost looks like I'm not wearing lipstick when I'm wearing this because it's so close to my skin tone once it dries and these are liquid uh, liquid lipsticks that dry to a matte finish and this is Limbo and so what I love about Limbo once again is that when it dries it becomes this very beautiful deep brown and when I wear it like you can see it definitely but it's brown and so it's very much like a neutral for my skin tone I love these they are the ultra matte lipsticks by ColourPop they last really long this one the ColourPop I'm gonna say that I could probably get six to eight hours out of it and it just lasts a little bit longer but the colors are both very good and it's definitely not super drying which I like uh, a lot because I've used some other ones that just felt like my lips were extremely extremely dry so these are definitely two of my favorites once again this is LAX and Limbo from Colourpop. I have a blush from MAC so this is a matte blush um, it's a powder blush and it's in Film Noir now for my ladies of color yes yes 
yes okay this color is so beautiful on it's deep and it's like for me it's it's deep enough to be a deeper color but then you still have that reddish brown undertone on it and it just looks fabulous on darker skin tones i this is probably going to be one of my favorites especially for fall because this color is just so beautiful it's it's beautiful so it's a matte blush it's in once again film noir and it's just a beautiful beautiful tone because it's been so dry and hot here in california my lips were almost like peeling because they were so dry and that was just like not happening that was not happening that was not happening and so i actually pick up picked up the lush fresh handmade cosmetics popcorn lip scrub it's a sweet and salty lip scrub that smells like pops like popcorn scrumptious that's what the lid says so what can i tell you guys about this um it tastes like kettle corn like literally tastes like kettle corn and it's so funny the guy was like oh and you can eat it because like all the ingredients in it so i can tell you guys right now the ingredients are castor sugar jojoba oil fine sea salt cornmeal extra virgin coconut oil fizzy candy i don't know what that is and it says flavor but it's vegan so the guy was like you can eat it and i was like I don't think so because I'm using it to get rid of dead skin on my lips why would I want to eat dead skin from my lips I don't know it didn't make sense to me however I will say this so I use this usually at night before I go to bed and um, before I put on my lip moisturizer and you know I'll put it on and I'll kind of scrub and I rub my lips together and then I use a paper towel that's slightly down to kind of just wipe away everything that's there but there's always a little bit of residue and I will say the residue is mighty tasty it does taste like kettle corn like literally like kettle corn but it's actually been working really well so between my new lip moisturizer that I purchased and using this on a nightly basis I don't have the peeling I don't have the dryness of the lips and so this is something that has definitely been one of my favorites that I've been using through the month of August and once again this is the lush popcorn lip scrub I was looking for a um a good powder I was looking at glam twins so if you've watched any of my videos, you probably have realized that I like Glam Twins, apparently, because I've mentioned them like several times. But they use the Makeup Forever, I believe, the Dual Finish Powder. And so when I went to Sephora, however long ago it was, um, I was asking a lady about it, and she's like, "The you have the Dual Finish Powder, and then you have the Pro Finish. And she was like, the Pro Finish is like the dual powders like best friend on steroids or something like that it was just funny like however she said it it was freaking hilarious like I fell out laughing in the middle of the store but she was just like you know for your skin complexion what you're looking for things like that she's like you can try the pro finish and so I picked up the pro finish and it is technically a um what do you call it a, a powder foundation it is a powder foundation. I have mine in color 185, but when I tell you that you can put this over your cream foundation, your liquid foundation, and it does not give you like a cakey buildup at all. Um, you can use this by itself just to give you just a nice kind of flush, um, kind of even skin tone, things like that but it's been great as a powder that I've been using as well. So I've been very happy with my purchase of the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder that I've been using. And once again, like I said, this is technically a multi-use powder foundation is what they call it. And once again, this is color 185 that I'm using. So hair, well, as you can see today, my hair is actually in twists because I plan on doing a kind of fun and funky hairstyle for the weekend but right now um, products that I've been using that I've been loving have been Lotta Body so Lotta Body has been one of my favorite products this month I yes 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 Lotta Body like this is my this is my thing when I be doing my hair I'll be like come through Lotta Body come through Lotta Body 
come through yeah that's literally what I do when I'm doing my hair with a lot of body so the three products that I've really been loving out of the five that I have now I haven't actually tried the other two yet because the other two is the other two is the setting lotion um, which I haven't had a chance to use just yet and then the other one is the edge control and because you guys know I have an undercut so I really don't use edge control as much as I used to but I'm going to keep it because you just never know what hairstyles will come up very soon on my channel but the three products that I have been using one is the Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse so this is the foaming mousse yes so this has given my twist out so much definition. When I tell you that my twist, my bantu knots, my perm rod sets, yes, yes, and yes. They come out so well. The definition is freaking amazing. And this has been a product that I've really been loving for the month of August. So once again, this is the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. Then I've also been enjoying the Moisturize Me Curl and Style Milk and I've been using this in conjunction with this. So usually I'll put this on first to give my hair just a little bit of moisture and then I will put this on to give my hair that definition. So this is usually like my definer. Um, this is what I'm using to really create those soft curls and things like that. But the two together just give me amazing texture, softness definition really really good like I've been loving using these two together and then the other product that I've been using is the love me five in one styling cream so this says it detangles and conditions heat protection adds moisture and shine prevents splits and split ends and tames frizz so I really more or less use this for detangles and conditions I do plan to use this for heat protection though. We're going to see how that works and I will let you know. Matter of fact, we'll do a video on that. Video coming up. Heat protection. Using a lot of body. Stay tuned. But, Love Me 5-in-1 Styling Cream. I've used this for detangling and I've detangled on dry hair that was twisted. Like, you know, like that I wore a twist out. And, you know, sometimes when your hair is dry um, and it's you have a twist out, you have little kinks and things like that, I would spray this on it. And I'm telling you guys, like, stay on dry hair that have literally just melt away any kinks, any snags. I mean, not snags, but any kinks, any um, how the hair gets knotted up and it melts those away and your comb just glides through. I was very surprised when I first used this and when I tell you that I literally sprayed my hair and you know I did my normal thing where I start at the ends and started work, working my way back but when I started at the end I started working my way back it didn't take long like it literally was like doo, 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 doo. what what literally like that so I have definitely been in love with using this as a detangler and that is my favorites for the month of August y'all yes that is all but thank you guys so much for checking out my channel I want to hear from you if you have used any of my favorites that you see here I'm gonna know how you use them how are you liking them is there are there things here that you want to try or things that you have questions on please be sure to leave all that in the comments below and be sure to continue to check out my channel as I have some giveaways on the way coming up very soon but thank you guys once again be sure to like and subscribe wherever that button is wherever you're sitting if you're watching this on your computer it's probably like right here or is it right here we just gonna do like this and then <laughs> but no but for real just be sure to like and subscribe and continue to just like support me thank you guys so much you guys are amazing you know my channel is small but it's growing and it's growing because of you guys so thank you guys so much i love you and until my next video bye